What's up everyone? We're here at Round 6 Formula Drift in Seattle, one of my favourite tracks of the Formula Drift grid. I absolutely cannot believe that we're at Round 6 already. So today is Thursday, setup day for the team. And for a change, I thought that uh, we might do something different in this video. Many people have been asking me about the setup of the Funhaver RTR team and uh, where do we hang out? Where is the car stored? So I think we'll have a walk around. Becky is here with me. Becky? Hello. Hello. How are you? Very good. So I was just saying that uh, you're here with me and a few people have been asking about the setup that we have and mm -hmm. a few questions and maybe I can give the camera to you and you can ask me some questions. What do you think? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Here we are. So this is basically the service area for all the cars. Uh, my car is set up here all the time, close to the edge. Chelsea's in the middle and Adam or Vaughan are at the end. This time Vaughan is back. Good to be back. And everybody's got new wheel covers. New yeah. wheel covers. Why has um, it got to be continued? So it's just a bit of fun. So every car has different wheel covers uh, at the start of every round? event. This one is a fun one. It's basically that. I'm trying to catch people out in the burnout box, so oh. I'm going to slide off people on the handbrake. This is cool. This is one of my favorite yeah. things. This is this is something I'd love to have back in Europe. Um, obviously it works when you have a big rig and stuff, to have a proper toolbox with everything inside in it. It's wrapped the same as the car. You can see all the logos on there. How heavy is this thing? Oh, that's going to be heavy. You're not lifting that. That's so why I thought when I like say it's huge. It takes a few people to push it into the rig after every event and everything sits inside in this so we have all the basic spares all the suspension bolt things like spacers all your tools all your everything it's so, very well organized actually yeah it's uh there's a lot of stuff carried around in this thing yeah so vaughn's car is back again this round so adam is finished for this year adam had a really good season so we have two trucks actually this is like this yeah, is the race side and yeah. the other side is like the entertainment side, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, the Funhammer Tour on the other side and this is the, the race side of things. So I've got some spares up here, you can see a winter's quick change. Um, lots of different things like spare brakes, spare suspensions, spare... And then up here, Sorry? Up, up here you've got all of the spare... I always love seeing all of the, all the spare bits because obviously RTR cars seem to get a little bit Battered. Yeah, so all the splitters, I love everything too, that it's all like uh, pre-wrapped. So we got spare side skirts, spare rockers for my car, Chelsea's car, Vaughn's car, spare grills, spare everything. Spare everything. How many Real. bumpers do you think that the team goes through? Oh, look at the bash bars. Well. Yeah, spare bash bars, everything. How In the season? I have no idea, there? you have to ask Chelsea and Vaughn that. So far this year, I think I probably... There's another one up there as well. Four rear bumpers, maybe one front. So it's quite a bit, but not too bad. In here, we got VP race fuel, all the team radios set up for the weekend. Here we have the track map. So this around Seattle, obviously, super fast track. Start off here, off the fork here, clutch kick in. Have to run the bank from start to finish. Decel here a little bit, outer zone, transition back, outer zone, inner clip, back to an outer zone over the finish. What do you think this is? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, is it nitrous, so full huge bottles of nitrous. Oh. Here are the bottles. Look at the amount of bottles and they're the bigger ones. 32 pounds full of nitrous. Crazy to see the amount of nitrous that we go through in an event. Here we got a front subframe with steering rack and everything. That's for left hand drive car. Lots of spares here. Everything. They have absolutely everything. There's a spare engine as well somewhere around. Um, it's really cool. So across this side then. Hey, this is a dream, isn't it? Driving for a team of this size. Yeah. I remember coming to Formula Drift as a kid before I ever competed here. I came over and watched, uh, supported Darren back in 2009 and I saw all the big rigs and I was like, oh my God, imagine driving for a team like this one day and here we are driving for the biggest team in the world. So sometimes you have to remind yourself how lucky we are uh, to do this. Here. So this is the fun hammer tour site. This is where when you have a spare five minutes you can come and play on the sim. 
they have all the games and stuff for all of the people it's that come in. Yeah, it's like a fan zone where there's like there's always stuff going on. And this is where you do like your pit parties as well. So yeah, yeah. James yeah. is out there throwing t-shirts at people. It's quite funny to watch actually. Today is obviously set up day, so everything isn't uh, in place fully, but. It's really cool, like this is gonna be packed over the weekend. Uh, you got all the fun haver gear over here. All of the different types of merch. There's so many different styles going on and it's a really nice, clean setup. Love it. Are you finding a new job? I was just helping for this a So up here we, that's where the drivers chill out. Got a fridge. Hey look baby, you've got all your, all your lovely photos of me on the wall. Yeah, yeah, that's cool, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Got Chelsea. Yeah, Most I wanted by Formula I see Drift. this like photo all, like everywhere throughout yeah, the trucks. Yeah. Let's go get on the bikes and do a quick quick lap of the track. Yeah. Start line. <laughs> right, so it's uh Friday. We're about to do our first laps on this track here. Crazy, crazy track. So excited to feel what the Mustang is like here. We had a lot of success here in the past, so I'm hoping we get comfy with the track pretty quick. And uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Right. think of our new wheels. They're gonna look sick in the Varno box. Having a lot of fun with the wheels this year. And uh, excited to see what the car feels like. I made a couple of changes, I'm very interested to see what it feels like. So every round we're making new changes and uh, just seeing how it all comes together. But practice is just starting, the six car out, so uh, let's get it. So just wrapping up practice before qualifying, we had a great, great session uh, overall. Everything's been really good. I uh, just need to stay focused for when it matters now in qualifying. But that last run, managed to touch the wall. On... I thought I touched this side too. Touched the wall here on the first transition going through the power alley and we're really high on the bank as well. So very, very happy. We're just taking the dashboard out because there's quite a reflection on the the top against the windshield because it's really sunny and halfway around the bank you've just got this kind of flat look up on the windshield so uh, gonna paint that flat black should help a lot and uh, we get a flock for future owns yeah one one lap left today all going well it's only one lap once we qualify high I think we can do uh, a good good qualifying session today and uh, we'll give it our absolute best so fingers crossed
to uh, round out the the four RTR Mustang victories. All the the AutoZone, Fun Haver, Ford Mustang RTR. Trips right. in that left-hand drive vehicle. Looks pretty rock solid right now. James hop skips his jumps in his, into the power alley in that third outside zone. Big massive angle there on that inside clip. Fights back into that last outside zone, the machine. Yeah, the crowd looks... erupts here at Evergreen. Okay, just finished uh, my qualifying run. We got 86 points. Uh, Ray's just plugging into the car there now because it fell down on power to me. Uh, at the start of the whole run, I, I was just a lot more full throttle and it wasn't pulling to high RPM like it was earlier in practice. So uh, we'll see what's up, but we got both sides in the wall and qualifying. 86 points, not too bad. Currently sitting third, uh, there's six more cars to go, but uh, I'm happy with that, I'm happy. Good morning everyone, it's Saturday, Formula Drift. Seattle, we qualified 70 yesterday with 86.6, I think. Uh, so pretty decent, uh, considering we're well down on power. I think one of the, the leads was after uh, getting damaged, so we had a misfire for, uh, for that run. So it was a struggle, especially on the big bank, but thank God this car has a lot of nitrous because it still had enough power to, uh, to make it a complete run. Uh, if we had no nitrous, there'd be no way you could complete that bank. So uh, we're turned up all the way today. They put new plug wires on and uh, change the plugs, change a few things around. So hopefully today we have no misfire. And uh, yeah, it's exciting. Excited to get back in the car. And uh, we have Alec Robbins first in top three too. We'll just take it as it comes and the hope for the best. One lap at a time. Let's see how it goes, but my team have been doing an amazing job this weekend. How are you, man? All good? Very good, you? Yeah, good. We are first in line for practice, leading Chris Forsberg. So it's all kicking off in a few minutes. I'm excited about it. Let's hope today is gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a great day. Great day. I'm excited. Look at this thing. Every time you see it, it's just so aggressively wide. It's crazy. And you see how far. Such a different car to drive. But uh, I'm very, very, very fortunate to be given a chance to drive so many different. Uh, types of cars over a few different weeks. It's it's really cool. I never thought it would get to this point uh, looking back a few years, but you have to remember to try to enjoy every minute. And uh, now I'm feeling quite relaxed before practice. It's gonna be a long day, uh, let's hope, because it's a long day, that means we're going far. So, fingers crossed, I'll give it my absolute best. Thank you all for supporting as always, and uh, let's try to do this. as a lead run so hoping we can keep that up for the actual battles it's it's uh yeah hopefully gonna come together uh we're battling alec robbins first in top three too in his uh, z so he's doing really good out there too so we need to 
just focus and uh, take a bit of a rest now, rehydrate and uh, hope that it comes together. One of those you automatically think, oh, maybe James is going to win, but you forget, like Robert Thorne. Robert Thorne, like that's, yeah, it's yeah. Uh, it's crazy. So here we go. James Dean leading Alec Robbins, giving chase. James Dean initiates. You can see him high on the bank. Robbins, great proximity, a little lower, but now drops in a formation. James Dean fills that second outside. So, oh my goodness. That's going to be. Oh, snap. You can almost feel the frustration oh, coming out of there. Dang. Oh. Hey. Uh, yeah, I mean, coming through Edder Zone 1, everything looked great. He sets his angle almost perfectly. See a small waver there, and then you can see the left foot brake and this snap right here. Woo. You can see the car and... Major yeah. mistake, but Robbins had an independent straightening as well. So I got to chalk this up to a double incomplete. So it's coming down this run. Alec Robbins out front. James Dean that chase position. Robbins high on the bank. James Dean, he's got something to prove. He's trying to grind that tire into the door of Robbins. And Robbins comes in that second outside zone. James Dean finds himself right there. Dials it in, it looks like he's grinding on the door, transitioning down to the last outside zone. And James, oh. I, I, like you said, you could almost feel oh. the, the frustration and just be like, oh, hell no. And, then, and, and <laughs> this know? is this this just shows why he is arguably one of the greatest of all time, yeah. if not. Like, his his ability to chase and, and cars of different speeds and, and different But Robinson's twisting the screws on him, man, oh, and he's got a good lead run. It's Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, Alec is driving incredibly well, and but, but same thing, like, James is just, like, no, I'm just going to be here. He, this is very similar to when he first got into FD, like how he would kind of almost lead the car a little bit. But look, he's just painting the door. Just, yeah. just you know, just showed up with a can of paint, and here we go. I'm just going to I'm gonna sit here and make he sure that you... Black, he uses black model, this rubber model. Yeah. So here's the, here's the truth serum for the first run. Here's our drone. So watch Robbins. Focus on Robbins. So James comes down, oh. Robbins. So again, this is the second run. This is with Robbins leading. James Dean, good proximity, a little lower. Robbins fills all that second outside zone, going into third. Both of them missed that third outside zone, yeah. but James, again, making his presence felt in that final outside zone. Robbins hits it real quick, quits it. Yeah, so as, as they hit play here, watch Robbins' front, front wheels. James is doing what he needs to do in the lead. Robbins right here, goes straight. You can see the wheels turn in, and for a, quite a distance, he's uh, not he reinitiates even. Yeah, so... That's going to be an incomplete for Robbins, and then this is going to be an incomplete for James Dean. No. And that makes the double incomplete. So just wrapped up top 32, and it definitely didn't go to plan. Um, in my lead run, I was focusing hard on doing a solid run. I still feel like we have a bit of a misfire in the car. I could hear it breaking up a bit on the bank. That's not an excuse for what I did. Uh, but got up to the bank at the end. It was coming in really strong, really hot. And uh, as I was transitioning, I think I pressed the brake too soon. And because uh, you have to, you're carrying huge speed off the bank, like we're doing almost 90 miles per hour at the end of the bank. You're scrubbing with the speed coming in, and then you need to scrub more speed before the left hander. And I think I pressed the brake too hard uh, as the car was going through rotation, and it just snapped the car to uh, beyond full angle, and I over rotated. And oh my god, I was not a happy camper. 
Uh, but I tried to reset uh, going into the chase run and uh, they were telling me that he straightened behind me so it looked like he, we were both sitting on incomplete and that's what we were, we both had zeros for the first run so they said, you know, try to chase him calm but I was like, no, I'm going for it and I just chased him hard uh, caught him up really nice at the end of the bank uh, all the transitions through the infield were sick and uh, finished really strong, almost pushing him over the finish line it was, uh, I was just uh, driving hard and uh, they got us the win so we had the better of the second runs which gave me the win very lucky, not uh, the mistakes I want to be making so we have to clean it up for top 16 and uh, keep chasing like that Not his moment yet no, this year. He has not. He's had, he's had some bad luck. So, uh, but he loved to go against. And James Dean had some bad luck, but uh, he got a little bit of good luck earlier. Here we go, James Dean, the AutoZone Mustang RTR. Flying. Yo, he is ripping. Diego Higa right there though. He's hanging tough into that second outside zone. That power alley coming to that third zone is James right. Dean and Diego Higa. He's right there in that final outside zone. Diego Higa. Oh. Saves it from going into the wall. That's going to be a major advantage. That's going to be an incomplete. And unfortunately, talk about his moment. confidence here in James Dean's corner and this gentleman's been driving so many vehicles from his BMW over in Europe the FDR X7 at LZ World Tour I mean he's been driving so many different vehicles so uh, here he is in the Ford Mustang but Diego Higa initiates very strongly look at that again getting that clean air a little shimmy by both of them actually Diego Higa he is on a tear into that power alley big angle from him into that third outside zone both of them on it now James as long as he just finishes the course, he's gonna get the victory. Yeah. Even even with the great effort by Diego. Hit the purge one more time. Yeah, whatever. You know, you got one, one minute. minute. James, you want me to raise the tire pressure? No, I don't think so. Don't worry. All right. We got nothing. Look at that, I mean, again, these S chassis of the field system. Oh, no! 
That could be three wheels off for Odie Bosch. He's overcooked it. Talking about his posture, but unfortunately, he tripped and stumbled. Mustang RTR Spec 5, James Dean. Every other RTR Mustang has a win. James Dean would love to get that. Three-time champion going against Odie Bakshis. Whoa, Odie Bakshis, look at that. Drops right in from outside zone two to three. Look at this, right on the door. Whoa, doctor, are you kidding me? Look at that. Okay, so we're into the top four, and I honestly thought there was no hope we were gonna get through that battle because uh, I lost Nitrous, um, Nitrous wasn't working, team called 5 minutes, um, we're battling Odie who's one of the strongest guys out here and it was going to be insanely tough with a perfect car and yeah, lost Nitrous and I didn't know what was going to happen so I knew it wasn't going to spin 4 gear uh, chasing him on the bank, I knew up the straight the car was down like 400 horsepower um, so I ran it in third gear and hoped that third was long enough to complete the bank and it was just about, barely kept it in drift when I was leading, same thing, in full second third, ran it in third and uh, managed to complete the bank, uh, drift through the infield, it was way slower than we've been all weekend but we kept it in drift and uh, went back to second for the infield, don't know how we kept it going but we kept it going and uh, we managed to get the win. Odie went off three tires in the lead and got an incomplete. So I was lucky, lucky, but unlucky too because we had no nitrous. Hopefully they can get the nitrous fixed. The team are working really hard. And uh, we'll keep doing our best. Locally, you're cheering for Dylan Hughes. Who's gonna get it? Dylan Hughes initiates. Oh, he comes out of angle, but goes right back into it. The ladder allows James Dean some good proximity. Now coming off that bank, James Dean taking a bit of a lower line. In the power alley, some sparks being thrown into that third outside zone. Into that inside clip. Snappy transition, nice job there by Dylan Hughes. Solid. Ryan. You talked about it. Sun is setting. Yeah. Lighting issues. Track, what, track temperature. Track temps. Also, watch. Watch the replay. When they go into inside clip one, they come from three to inside clip. Look at the sun just beat on them. I mean, this is a great job by both guys. Dean is on a slightly lower line, but I mean, very slightly, and then a little bit more exaggerated there towards the end. Both guys, pretty good job mimicking effect there in outside zone two and three. Very little difference overall in margin between both competitors. Dean, at, at moments, may have been inches a little bit tighter, but a very competitive battle. I mean, the strategy from the spotters is basically going to be, you got to go 100%. There's not one big mistake or mix of mistakes.
more of the RTR drivers to get a win this year. James Dean will lead AutoZone Ford Mustang RTR. Into that outside zone. Oh boy. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Miles, Dylan Hughes. He's got the proximity. He is, he is motivated. He is absolutely on a tear into that third outside zone. But James Dean maxing out that angle. Big angle. Dylan Hughes having it back off. You see him massage it back in. And then gets on the side of James Dean. I mean, that was sick from Hughes in proximity. But honestly, besides inside clip one, just going from re memory recall, that was one of the best lead runs we've seen all day. I mean, Dean was resting the bumper almost from the beginning. Starting right now, solid, stable, a little bit less angle here, wavering from Hughes, great proximity. Dean, is his hand is perfectly still, deep into two. Wow. I, as you will get full points for that in outside zone three. See, he just misses one bar on the inside clip. And then right here, left rear and the right, right on the line. I mean, that's, I would give that, get from yesterday's qualifying for me, that would be uh, like yeah. quality run, a yeah. top three for sure. Hughes had that the proximity game, right? But he didn't do everything that Dean did. And so now we got to go back to that, the, the first run. And, and is there enough there? That's the same question we ask all the time. Is there enough in these close runs? Look Boy. at this! Oh, Dylan wow. Hughes gets the win! We need an explanation, yeah, let's go. Yeah, we need an explanation. Okay, what a dramatic day of Formula Drift. Uh, we went into top four battling Dylan Hughes. I was chasing first, and so hard right now because at the end of the bank, the sunlight is coming right over the fence, and you're running the first uh, two thirds of the bank with perfect visibility because the banners are blocking the sunlight. Then you pop out of the sunlight. You pop out of the darkness into sunlight, and you can't even see where the wall is. So uh, when I was chasing him, I uh, checked up a little bit before where I should have because I was expecting that we were later in the corner. And uh, yeah, that opened up the proximity a bit too much and uh, he was fast through the infield. So it was a smooth run, wasn't terrible. And uh, then my lead run, I went all in. Uh, no handbrake on entry, full throttle, fork gear, tapping the wall. Uh, really tried my best in the lead position. All my team are saying that they think it deserved one more time, but I'm happy. I'm happy. It came together. We had some bad luck today, some good luck today. I tried my best, but look, I think we're on the podium. And that's a huge relief. If we're on the podium tonight, I swear, I can't even tell you what kind of a relief that is. Um, it's been a challenging year with some good luck and bad luck. Uh, definitely, definitely feel like we have to work for it this year to, uh, to get in with a chance of uh, moving on in some battles, but <laughs> I'm so proud of everyone that's uh, helped to get this far. And uh, let's let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Chelsea still in it. He's battling hard with Ryan Turk. It's crazy battles out here. And uh, yeah, hopefully he gets into the final, and the two of us will be on the podium tonight. So fingers crossed. <laughs> We officially got third place, our first FD podium with the Ford Mustang RDR. So happy, thank God. Oh, yeah, that's like a weight off my shoulders. This year, I just, that was my game plan, like try to get a podium in that car. That's a big weight lifted off our shoulders and uh, we can enjoy the next two rounds and uh, put on a show for everyone watching. So thank you all for watching. Thank you all for supporting and uh, see you in Utah. Woo!